you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared, this is equal to b plus 2, 241. Let's call this equation 1. Then b squared is equal to a plus 241. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b? Given that a is not equal to b. So let's provide a solution from here. The first step to do here, let's subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So that now we have a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b plus 241. Subtract a plus 241. So this implies that we have a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b plus 241 subtract a then minus times plus 241 this is minus 241 so this implies that here we have a squared minus b squared this is equal to we have b minus a then plus 241 minus 241 this is equal to zero so let's take b minus one minus a b minus a on the left hand side so that we have a squared minus b squared plus a minus b. This is equal to 0. So a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Then plus a minus b. This is equal to 0. So we have that a minus b is common here. So we can factor out a minus b. So that now here we have a plus b. Then plus 1. This is equal to 0. So this implies that here we have two parts. The first part is a minus b. This is equal to 0. The second part here is a plus b plus 1. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that A, this is equal to B. Now, this, this part here violates the condition that here, we have that A is not equal to B. So we have that this part here is rejected. This part is rejected. So let's proceed with this part here, which is A plus B plus 1 is equal to 0, so that we have a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. Let's call this equation 3. The next step is we have, let's add equation 1 plus equation 2. So that now we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to b plus 241 plus a, then plus 241. Now here we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to, now this is a plus b, then plus 241 plus 241. This is equal to 482. So that now, we have that a plus b, this is what we have in equation 3 here, which is a plus b is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute minus 1 here, so that we have a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 1 plus 482. So that now a squared plus b squared, this is equal to 481. Let's call this equation four now from equation three from equation three which is a plus b equal to minus one let's square both signs from here so that now here we have a squared plus b squared plus two a b this is equal to one because minus one squared this is one so that a squared plus b squared, this is what we have in equation 4 here, which is 481. Then plus 2ab, this is equal to 1. 
So let's take 481 on the right hand side so that we have 2ab. This is equal to 1 minus 481. So we have 2ab. This is equal to 1 minus 481. This is minus 480. So let's divide both signs by 2. So that now we have that a times b. This is equal to minus 240. So we have minus 240. The next step is to make a the subject of the formula. So this means we divide both signs by b. So that now we have that a is equal to minus 240 over b. Now, from equation 3, from equation 3, which is a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute the value of a, which is minus 240 over b. So we have minus 240 over b plus b. This is equal to minus 1. So we have that b is a whole number. So this is over 1 and minus 1 is a whole number. So this is over 1. The LCM is b. So let's multiply everything here by b. So that now b and b here simplifies so that we have minus 240 plus b squared. This is equal to minus b. Let's take minus b on the left hand side so that now we have b squared plus b minus 240. This is equal to, to 0. So we have a quadratic equation here which we can solve by factorization method whereby we have the product equal to minus 240 and the sum is equal to 1. So we can identify two factors such that when you multiply those two factors, this yields a value of minus 240 and if you sum those two factors, we have a value of 1. So we have the factors as 16 and minus 15. So if you say 16 times minus 50, this is minus 240. Then 16 plus minus 15, this is equal to 1. So let's substitute these factors here so that we have b squared plus 16b. Subtract 15b minus 240, this is equal to zero so we have that we have two parts here the first part b is common so we can factor out b so that we have b plus 16 then subtract in the second part here 15 is common so we have 15 into the parentheses we have b plus 16 this is equal to zero so we have that b plus 16 is common here. So we can factor out b plus 16 multiplying by b minus 15. This is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. We have that the first part is b plus 16. This is equal to 0. And we have that b minus 15. This is equal to 0. So we have that b1 is equal to minus 16 and we have that b2 this is equal to 15. so now given that we have b1 and b2 here we can solve for the corresponding values of a1 and a2 if you recall we have that a is equal to minus 240 over b so this implies that a1 is equal to minus 240 divided by b1, which is minus 16. So here, minus and minus simplifies. 240 divided by 16, this is the same thing as 15. So we have the first set of solution here, a1, comma b1. This is equal to 15 comma minus 16. So this is the first set of solution that we have. So let's proceed to solve for a2. Now we have that b2 is equal to 15. So we can solve for a2 and this is equal to minus 240 divided by b2. 
So now here we have minus 240 divided by 15. So let's simplify here. 240 divided by 15, this is equal to minus 16. So we have that A2, comma B2, this is equal to minus 16, comma 15. So this is the second set of solution that we have. So last three, let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall here, we end that a squared, this is equal to b plus 241. This is equation one. And the second equation here, we have b squared, this is equal to a plus 241. So let's start with the first set of solution here. That is a1, b1, which is 15, comma, minus 16. We have a1, comma, b1, which is 15, comma, minus 16. So let's verify this first set of solution. So we have a squared, this is 15 squared. This is equal to, we have b is minus 16 plus 241. We have that 15 squared, this is 225. So this is equal to minus 16 plus 241, and this is equal to 225. So this means that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this proves that a1, b1 satisfies the equation. So let's check the second set of solution here, which is a2, b2. In this case, we have b squared, which is 15 squared. This is equal to, we have a, remember a is minus 16 plus 241. So 15 squared, this is 225 which is equal to minus 16 plus 241. This is again 225. And this means that the left hand side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the second set of solution here, which is A2 comma B2 also satisfies the equation. So kind of for the steps like this video, and country subscribe please like this video and subscribe thank you for watching